Hey Shuby Doodlers, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to draw a rat and mole um, from Wind in the Willows. And why am I doing this? Because, well, um, I'm doing this before I'm actually going to do it, but you're watching this afterwards. Uh, so this weekend I'm doing um, a thing. Local uh, church is putting on um, a performance of Wind in the Willows from a company called... Um, that wants to go straight down there. So you want a circle and a curve and then a kind of line going straight down like that. And then that's going to be Mr. that's going to be ratty. And then here's Mr. Mole and um, just Mole. He's not Mr. is he? Um, and he wants to be sort of kind of we want this kind of shape like that just to give us a fighting chance. Um, so there's a company called This Is My Theatre are putting on a performance of Wind in the Willows in the churchyard at Newland down the road from where I live. And beforehand, I'm going to be showing people how to draw uh, the characters. Last week, I showed you how to draw uh, Mr. Toad. That's why I keep wanting to call them Mr. Rat, Ratty and <laughs> Mr. Mole. But they're just Ratty and Mole. So let's start from uh, around about here. We're going to come and leave that and come down to a bit of a point and then just flick around a little bit like that. And then up and then we'll have a little bit of a smile like that. And we'll bring that to about there and then we want some ears and they're quite flat these ears he's a water vole he's not really a rat um, and this is quite tricky <laughs> where to place the eye and and I can just see a tiny little dot at the end of my pen and so I'm looking to see where where does that kind of feel right so I'm just going to put a dot and that's all I'm doing just a dot for the eye and let's do some sort of whiskers sticking out like that um, and then I'm going to do a bit of a curve like that. <clears throat> I'm going to do a bit of a curve like that. And this is his jacket front. So let me just do go sideways, down a little bit, and kind of like that. So those are the, the lapels of his blazer, actually, because they're out mucking about in boats. Now come down sort of to about here, and we're going to draw a V. So this is going to be the V of his shirt. It's going to come about like that. And that will come up there and up there. And then we want to draw the sort of collar going like that. <clears throat> and then the front of his shirt will come down to about there. And that's giving us a kind of a feeling of a bit of tummy, we hope. Um, and then this can come here, down there. That's where his... Um, and that, this will be a belt, so we can... Kind of work that out to be about there, maybe a bit of a loop there. And again, we want the collar there. So <laughs> it's building it up, isn't it? So we'll bring this arm around like that. And we want some sort of wrinkles in the elbow. And then one, two, three, four, little hand. I know he doesn't have hands, but it's, uh, it's an anthropomorphic thing, isn't it? So we can bring the blazer around like that and just have it sort of flicking around at the back. And then we can have a bit of a wrinkle there in his elbow. And that's his arm. And we want a bit of a wrinkle there in his um, armpits. Uh, and we can bring that probably around like that. And then we want to have a thumb and a one and a two and a three and a four. We're going to want to have this sort of front leg coming down about there. And it's got a big behind and little legs. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't quite look right, does it? That's going to be hiding inside the jacket there. So we can bring that bit there and have a bit of a shoe. Uh, a, deck, a deck shoe, I think we could call that. And then we'll have the other one sort of down like that in a jaunty kind of angle and then of course we want to have a bit of a tail as well don't we for, for ratty and maybe a few little hairs on that maybe something there i think he'll probably have a sort of a pocket on the front there and we can give him some little bits of ratty for mole vole Vole, water volley hair. Okay, so that's ratty. Um, and then vole. It, these are based on the illustrations by Ernest Shepherd, who was the first person to 
illustrate Kenneth Graham's um, Wind in the Willows. And I'm just trying to think where, again, I'm just looking at the tip of my pen to think where, where is the best place to just put that, that little eye like that. Um, so these are based on the characters which were devised originally by Ernest Shepherd. And I always kind of feel there are similarities if I draw Mole in this way. He has a kind of a similarity to Piglet and Winnie the Pooh, um, which he also illustrated for A.A. A. Milne. Uh, let's put that up there like that. Now, again, we can bring that around there. Now, he has got big... <laughs> hands and big um, cuffs on his um, coat so that we can have a little bit of a thumb and then we want to have one, two, three, four gigantic big hands like that and then we can bring his coat up around there and then we can do something similar with the belt like that and we can have him a bit of a a wrinkle there in the elbow again and again big oh we need to have lapels down there don't we like that and again big <laughs> spade like hands like that and then we'll have that sort of going off there somewhere and again we want to have these funny little <laughs> legs Coming in like that, a bit of a booty kind of end. And then we'll have that other leg going around behind there, maybe something like that. Oh, that'll be coming around at the front there. There we go. And then uh, we might like to just put a bit of grass in there. The edge of the riverbank. And when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase the pencil lines. And as you can see, I use a hairdryer to make sure. Um, I think we're going to need a bit of shading here on Mole. I think Mole's coat should be quite dark because he's, well, he's a mole and moles are quite dark, aren't they? Little furry gentlemen, as they're often referred to. <laughs> Uh, unless you're a naked mole, of course, which is a different type altogether. I'm going to put a bit more going that way. So this is cross hatching. And here you can see I'm trying to get some extra shading in sort of underneath the coat where there will be shadow falling. Not too happy about this. I oh, this feels a little bit overdone, really now. And I'm very reluctant to actually shade Mr. Mole, who was going to be the darkest <laughs> of them all, because he will just disappear, and you're going to kind of lose his um, you lose his eye in there as well. I think. So I think we probably want a little bit of shading in there as well. And maybe bring it a little bit curving around there to give him some tummy. Um, maybe put some shading in there. A little bit of shading, because it's going to be a nice summery day, isn't it, if they're messing about in boats. And I think then maybe we can just have... Um, we can have a... Um, a punt kind of moored up here. Am I going to be able to fit this all in? I think so. So we'll have a, a rope coming to an old bit of something stuck into the ground there. I wonder if I'm going to get this in. And there we go. And we want a kind of a deck like that. And a cross piece like that so there's another deck at the front and at the back It'll be fairly square along there and coming down and there and there and across 
across. And if you're wondering how can I just draw a punt like <laughs> I think I'd, I had him inv inv involved in a punt that was restored once. A punt called Edwina. Uh, who was a very beautiful punt on the River Thames and um, maybe still is going, I don't know. And, um, and so I, sort of, I did the gold leaf naming, writing on it. And what else did I? Oh, yes, and I made a, a cover for her as well. Um, out of <laughs> damp proof, of course, <laughs> plastic. And and I had my, I was a student at the time, and I had my sewing machine, which with which I did all sorts of things, fancy dress costumes and things, and um, and so I I, I sewed together all this damp proof course, <laughs> and created a cover with a, a sort of a, a edge to the whole thing with a rope through it, so it could be tied around underneath. Um, uh, those were the days, eh? <laughs> when I used to make things like that. Good, there we go. <laughs> There's Ratty and Mole down by the riverbank. Probably want some kind of... Um, some willows as well down there. Weeping willows. Like that in the background. There you go. Thanks for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.